This is finger licking good. <clears throat> Yeah, this might have been a stupid idea because it's like smells like chicken in here now and it's smoky. But here goes nothing. Beer brine chicken. And we're gonna do it Dr. Horn style experiment. So we're gonna do two different beers and one control. Let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Uh, I know this is stretch, but it is cooking with beer. And we're doing beer brine chicken. We're gonna use a pilsner, and we're gonna use a wit beer, and also one control with just an ordinary water-based brine. So I started yesterday by mixing up the brines and I kept it quite simple. And yes, the doctor will like try to convert everything in post. Yeah, nice. So I filled up three vessels, one with lager beer, one with the wheat beer and one with water. And I wanted my brine to be about 5% salt. So I added a tablespoon of salt. I also added a tablespoon of peppercorns, a bay leaf and a pinch of chili flakes and then I soaked the uh, chicken wings overnight. Early next morning I took them out and then I have rested them in my fridge to dry out. It's interesting to see the different colors especially when they dried up. The lager were a bit brownish, the water based were a bit pinkish and the wheat a little bit more at the yellow side. As I didn't want the studio to like <sighs> get smoky but did anyways because I'm stupid. I do a lot of stupid things here so don't think about becoming a subscriber. There are much better channels for you to go and subscribe to than mine but I do appreciate the comments down below and a thumbs up. I put the the chicken into the air fryer, set it to 200 degrees Celsius and run it for 10 minutes. I checked the inner temperature, it was over 82 so I was satisfied but you should go with like the uh, recommended temperature in your country, of course. An easy way to make a really nice hot sauce is by melting butter and adding your normal hot sauce. The amount, it kind of depends, but if you have one that ain't like super strong, I would normally use half and half. So I just melt that in the air fryer also and stir that together into a sauce. Normally I would maybe throw my wings in it, but I'm not gonna do that today. So here we have the wings. Looking at the control one, they are a little bit lighter in color, didn't really get any fancy Maillard effect on them as the other one browned up quite more nicely. The lager ones and the, the wheat beer ones look quite the same. I do prefer the look of the lager one. And here you have the beautiful sauce. Normally you might have dry rub them or something or you might have already put them in the sauce. Do you have any other recommendation which beer styles you want to see in some sort of experiment like this? Comment down below or any other suggestions with cooking with beer. I'm gonna go for the control first. It's nice, tastes like chicken. Mm. Then the lager one. Well, I can really taste the beer. It really tastes like a lager. I didn't really expect this. Let's try the the wit. Now I want to do more beer styles. Which beer style should we do next? Let me know. That's awesome. Because the, the beer really shines through. Mukbang! Nice! I have had some mukbang before, but that were for patrons channel members. Before we try it with the hot sauce, we should try the core winner. And if you're doing this, you could do many different beer styles and like mix everything together. It would be awesome. It's really hard because they're very different. So I will go for the one that's most fun and that is the, the Pilsner one because you can really taste that Pilsner flavor. Let's try it with the, with the hot sauce. To see if it masks everything. Pilsner one, danking it in the hot sauce. That kind of masks it, I must say. That's a really nice hot sauce, but I'm glad I didn't toss them. Toss them! That's the word. I'm glad I didn't toss them in the hot sauce because 
that would have ruined the experiment. Once you got them in the hot sauce, I can't really tell them apart. This was a really cool experiment. Now I'm just gonna stand here and eat my chicken wings and you can watch. Or you might want to go and watch another video instead of that one. Cheers. <laughs>